The name of the piece is Deploy, and it is a piece that was, was historically shown outdoors, mostly in the south, south of France. So there's these large irrigation uh, pipes, and then there's a bolt of raw sort of satiny fabric. And to me, this piece um, is very much about, A, the support and the surface, an idea of the, the, the uh, basics of painting, which is the support and surface, but also has a lot of sculpt sculptural kind of properties to the piece, and that it's up high, it's leaning against the wall, the fabric kind of moves slowly as the breeze goes by, the word deployed is the same, same as in French as in English, which means to to be stationed, and it sort of has a military kind of connotation. And so these, this piece is, is is very important in that it was you know installed in street corners, on the side of churches and alleyways, outdoors. And he never intended it for it to become like a piece of art inside an art gallery situation. It was always meant to be outside, impromptu, very provisional. Um, and this is the original uh, fabric. He, he expected the piece to be rained on and destroyed over time. So this is uh, kind of unusual that somehow it survived. They were definitely looking very closely at the minimalist artists who are, were appropriating things like plywood or steel or lead, you know, kind of industrial materials. So this is everyday material that would be used in construction of buildings or fabrics. The thing that sort of made Support Surfaz separate was many of the pieces are like household kind of items. So like bed sheets, uh, we see things like sticks, we see elastic, we see rope that you can buy in a hardware store, netting, sticks, things that were much more sort of uh, domestic versus industrial. Like the uh, minimalists were much more involved in sort of a uh, aesthetic around industry and sort of things that are much more macho and and kind of industrial, not as home spun.